Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Addie and today we are doing my August reset. I can't believe it's already August. The summer is basically over in my head. The even crazier thing about this reset is that this is the last one that I will be filming in this room because I'm moving like next month is going to be like the ultimate reset because like we're literally resetting my life. If you can't tell, I'm very nervous about it. We're gonna think about it. We're gonna enjoy the time we have in this room. For this reset, I will be doing what I did last month and I will be doing my book journal spread for August as well as my August TBR. I think I'm gonna start off by doing some journaling and then we will get into the TBR. to the TBR portion of this, this video. I have been getting more and more lax every month with the TBRs to be honest. If you guys like have been watching for a few months now you would know I would do a lot of TBR jar picks by TBRs and I've kind of been growing a little bit away from that because I noticed that I tend to like my monthly reads like substantially less when I do that just because like I'm such a mood reader. What I've decided I'm gonna do is right here for this top shelf is just gonna be de designated for series that I'm in the middle of. If I get to the books on my TBR that's great. I wanted to still do a TBR video because I wanted to let you know which series I'm gonna be trying to continuing in the month as well as what books are on my radar like right now that I would love to get to. It's just not as strict because I don't know I'm just someone who if I like set aside books for, for TBR in a very specific spot I will only read those books and like even if I don't I'm not in the mood for any of them I will like beat myself up over it like no you have to read those books but it's like who made these rules? I did. <laughs> so who cares? But I do want to tell you guys which books are on my radar at the moment. I actually just started Caught Up by Liz Tomford, which I am absolutely adoring right now. The reading vlog for this will be next week, so I won't go too deep into it. I am absolutely adoring this book, 
and I think I'm going to I just ordered the fourth one in the series play along and I'm probably gonna read that this month too because I am just I love the Windy City series and now that like I'm back into it I'm like really feeling it this one is a single dad nanny trope and I'm really liking it and the couple for play along is being hinted in this book and I think I'm gonna like them even more so I'm very excited to get to this Another book that's on my TBR this month is The Spell Shop by Sarah Beth Durst. Honestly, I walked into Barnes and it's just stunning. And just because of the cover, this has been on my anticipated releases for months. I've never heard of this author. I just love cozy fantasy. I'm obsessed with this cover. It's so cute. So I'm really hoping to get to this. I really don't know what it's about. It says it's a lush cottage core tale full of stolen spell books, unexpected friendships, sweet jams, and even sweeter love. Now that just sounds like right up my alley. So I am very excited to hopefully get to this this month. The next book that I'm really hoping to get to this month is Foxglove by Adeline Grace. This is the second book um, to Belladonna, the Belladonna series. And I read Belladonna like a couple months ago and I absolutely loved it. But I was waiting for Foxglove to come out on paperback so I could get the beautiful Barnes & Noble sprayed edges like I had from the Belladonna book. Also, I really want to read this month because Wisteria comes out soon which is the final book in this trilogy and I don't think I'm gonna buy that book before it comes out in like the pretty edges like this so they all match but I will be like reading it from the library right when it comes out because I love these books so much and I'm so excited to get into Foxglove because Belladonna left on kind of a cliffhanger and I'm like I'm ready for this the next book I would love to read, this has been on so many TBRs, I will read it this month, mark my words, is Mixed Signals by B.K. Borison. This is the third book in the Love Light Farms series and I love this series so much. I've talked about it quite often. I think it's a really underrated series and especially Love Light Farms, like read that around Christmas, you will feel the Christmas love vibes perfect. Like this small town really reminds me of Gilmore Girls so I obviously I love Gilmore Girls so I love this and the fourth and final book of this just came out and I really want to read that and have this series completed so I really need to get to mix signals this month. The next book on my August TBR is The Housemaid is Watching by Frida McFadden. This is the final installment in the Housemaid tr trilogy and I love The Housemaid. The Housemaid is one of my favorite thrillers of all time. I really like the second one as well but the first one is just so perfect so I am really excited to see how this wraps up and just like be back with these characters because like I just love the way she writes thrillers I love how the chapters are short you have a cliffhanger on every chapter it keeps you on the edge of your seat I remember reading the first housemaid in literally like four hours it was so good so I'm very excited to get to this and see how it all wraps up the next book on my August TBR is A Number in the Ashes by Saba Tahir I have had this for so long it's been on so many TBRs again and I think I finally really just want to get to it like I've heard so many really good things about this series and I am just in the mood for a fan a YA fantasy to be honest and I'm just really excited to get to this and I think I love like fantasies like set in like school settings so I'm super excited I don't know I'm in so many I'm in the middle of like so many fantasy series but right now but like what's one more speaking of fantasy series that I'm in the middle of I would love to get to the third book in the plated prisoners series which is gleam and I am really really enjoying this series I this one, it's get, they just keep getting longer and longer, but I'm really, really enjoying where this series is going. I did not really like Guild, but I really liked the second one, uh, Glint. I liked the direction that the author took way better than I thought it was going to be. So I'm very excited to get to Gleam and see where the story progresses from here. Because I hear that there's so, many so much character development and there are so many different plot twists. I just love romanticy, so very excited about this. The next book that I would love to read in August is A Dangerous Collaboration by Diana Rayborn. I love the Veronica Speedwell series and I, as much as I have been dying to get this book, there's just like, I've had a lot of reading vlogs going on, like I just haven't had time to pick this up, but August I'm really, this is high on my priority because I just love the Veronica Speedwell series. This is the fourth installment. The premise of this one is a bride mysteriously disappears on her wedding day and interpid Veronica Speedwell must find out what happened to her. Which, the premise of this one sounds really good to me, like better than the premise of A Treacherous Curse sounded to me, so I'm really excited to get to this and just hop back into the world of Veronica and Stoker, because I just love them so much. The next book on my 
August TBR is The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna. Love Chris, I love, love, love Kristen Hanna. So I really, really have been dying to get to another one of her books and I've heard really amazing things about this one. I've read The Nightingale and I really want to read this, Firefly Lane. Like I just want to like read her a lot more of her works. This one I'm pretty sure is set during the Vietnam War. Um, it's Alaska 1974 and I think she's a really great author. She's a really great storyteller and she makes you very invested in her characters and I think I haven't read a really good like literary fiction in a while and I think I am really in the mood for it so hopefully get to another one of this books. I really want to read Firefly firefly lane soon but i am not allowing myself to buy another one of her books until i read this one because i've had it on the tbr for quite a while the last book on my tbr is summer romance by annabelle monaghan i do not own this one physically but i have it on hold at the library so hopefully that hold comes in during august i'm pretty sure it will but when it does come in, I will be reading that. Uh, it's my book club book of the month, and I'm not really sure what it's about. I assume a summer romance, but I'm very excited. I've heard really amazing things about it, so really want to get to that in August. Those are all the books on my August TBR. That is a very subject to change. Might see what I end up buying because I have a book buying problem. It is a problem. It's okay. And I also have the problem where when I buy a book, like I immediately want to read it and then I forget about the books that I've owned for years. So we'll see. Am I fixing that problem? No. The only thing that it hurts is my wallet and I can, I can live with that. So that completes the August TBR. This is officially the end of the reset. We to this month really all I had to do was my TBR and my journal spread. Which speaking of the journal spread, I didn't really like talk about it, but this is it. I kind of just did a little like butterfly frame, mostly because I wanted to get rid of some butterfly stickers because I have so many and I'm trying to like use my stickers before I buy new ones. And then I just have the regular grid stuff here. I saw this inspiration from Notebook Therapy, their Instagram page, but in theirs they like did like a hole in it. It was way fancier than what I did. Honestly, I really just didn't want to use another sheet of paper because I'm trying to get this notebook through the end of the year and just didn't want to waste it like that. But I still think it looks really good. I'm happy with it. And I'm very excited about the very chill TBR. Um, I feel like it gives me a little bit of freedom to just kind of read what I want. But I'm very excited about the books that I have picked out and I'm excited for some library visits this month, hopefully. One thing I'm really gonna miss when I move is my public library here because growing up I was very fortunate to have a really nice public library and I don't know what the library scene is gonna be when I move. So I'm trying to get my use out of it. And I think August is going to be so chill for me. I'm really excited to get a lot of really good reading done. I got a lot of really good reading done in July as well. I feel like I really have to take advantage of August because it's my last month here and it's my last month of summer. So I'm gonna get a lot of good reading done. I have a lot of fun videos planned. For next month's reset, I was thinking I might do, cause I'm gonna be starting school, I am obsessed with Notion. I use Notion for literally to plan my entire life. So if you guys want to see like how I reset my Notion for the school year or like for September, let me know if that's something you'd be interested for one of these videos just because I love doing Notion. It keeps me so organized for school. I will stop yapping your year, year off. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. I really like how the setup of these resets because I can kind of just like put it all into one, you know? Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see me do in these videos. I just love resetting. I love the beginning of months. But thank you guys so much again for watching this week's video. If you like my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. I post every Mondays. And if you guys have any other video suggestions for me, please leave them down below. I hope you guys have a fabulous week and I will see you guys soon. Bye.